Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra Mod. We are jumping in this time as a little old chicken. A character that I I like once you get rid of your melee weapon. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of melee in this game, so I have a little bit of trouble with this guy. He's interesting, but once again, as is the trend with um with me in this game specifically and in general. Ooh, also. We'll, we'll try we'll try and go for some vulture stuff. Not vulture, you know what I mean. The savannah floor. We'll do a regular run first, though. Um, yeah, uh, I, I, as, as is the trend for me, I tend to literally never use this guy's power, like the ability to throw weapons, at all. <laughs> now, I do wonder... Wait, what the hell's going on here? You can slow time with this guy now? Okay, do you know, with this, it's pretty good. <laughs> with this, it's pretty good. I, I can definitely see myself using this a little more, and I will take that blood rifle as well. Um, ba -da 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 hmm. I think I'll take insomnia. <clears throat> this could be rather interesting, actually. I didn't realise that he got this slow time effect. I think that's new to this mod. I'm almost certain it's new to this mod. He doesn't normally get that, right? Um, but yeah, I don't often use the the thrown weapon thing, but. I will, however, use it for uh, killing Big Bandit here. If I can. God damn, this, that took a while. But, nice and risky. I mean, I, I suppose I can also... Is it slowing time? It, it looks like it is, but I don't think it is. <laughs> it doesn't seem to make anything actually slower, so maybe not? I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go along here. Um, let's take Gamma Guts here, I think. Gamma Guts is pretty good. We've also got a blood shotgun, which is perfect for, uh... So, what, one question that I have. The obsidian throwing knife here, right. It's really good damage, but if I throw it with chicken's throw ability, does it do the same amount of damage that if... Whereas if I throw it regularly? Because it might be that the... Like, when you throw a weapon via the thrown weapon mechanic, they have fixed damage. Whereas when you throw them via um, the weapon itself, it has a higher damage. I, I don't know, but I do you get what I'm saying? I feel like I don't even really get what I'm saying. I, I was I was close to a, a fully fledged thought there, but it's gone now. Um, yeah, let's take our client saliva. Could be pretty good, especially with Gamma Guts. I think those two blend pretty well. We've also got a nice meaty blood weapon here. Maybe I should like try and get hit by like a hard hitting enemy. Wait a minute. Let's let's just take out these boys first. I've got an idea. It might not work, but I'm gonna try it. Yeah! <laughs> Walk into an explosive enemy to get healed to maximum. Seems like a pretty good trade. Hyper Bouncer Rifle, I'm going to take it. I know it's cursed, but I think it's worth it. Ooh, one moment, I need to pause for a second. Apologies, I am back. Yeah, this thing... Hyper Bouncer? Seems ridiculously good, right? <laughs> Ammo could be a concern, but right now it's not. I feel like this could be uh, the start of a beautiful relationship with this weapon. I love Bouncer weapons, they're not that common in the vanilla game, so it's... Nice to see them getting some representation here. Ooh, and a Seeker Pistol as well. Yes, please. Good, good. In we go. Um, and I think Back Muscle is a, is a must with this, the, the weapon that we've got right now. We might end up keeping this through quite late into the game, to be honest. This is a very powerful weapon. Especially if we can add some bullet mods onto it. If we get some modifications on there, it could get really crazy. I don't really know what this burn thing does here. I'm guessing it's part of a secret. It could just be decoration. But the fact that it's decoration that isn't in the vanilla game makes me think that it's not just decoration. <laughs> also, I will take that super duper crossbow. This is insane. <laughs> right. Oh, damn. This thing is quite super. Holy hell. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a nutty butty boy. I like it. Last enemy. Are you a crow by any chance that's fucked off elsewhere? Of course you are. Of course you are. 
I'm glad it at least tells us where they are now with this mod. Hmm. What do we want to take here? Probably Eagle Eyes. Uh, killing enemy, increase your fire rate, um, drop rate, and decrease accuracy slightly. Um, okay, do you know what? That, that's probably better for this thing, actually. <laughs> Fire rate and accuracy down is actually probably pretty good on this thing, so it's bound to. There's some enemies up here. Don't know what. How is the explosive guy not dead yet? There you go. We do have gamma guts as well. I forgot about that. Wow. <laughs> A lot of explosions going on right now. Is that it? Yes, that is it. Okay. Things are going well. I think this will kill it very quickly, so I don't have to worry. There you go. Dead. <laughs> Thought so. Something as potent as that bad boy. There seems to be some randomness on what flaws it takes you to in this mod, which I, I, I quite like. Right, this, this thing's still absolutely pummeling. Calm down, broly dogs. This thing's the real treat, though. This thing's crazy. All that extra poison. Oh, the Doom Rifle's so good as well, The I do quite like the Doom Rifle. Um, Now, this is a question. I think Rhydo Skin is probably the better option here for the extra HP. Give us some more survivability. Doom Rifle. Doom Rifle's so good, The Nah, I think we got to stick with what we know. We know what we've got is a real winning combo, so... Stick with it. Oh, we uh, managed to open the portal straight away here. Nice. This should give us a weapon mod, I think, which is going to be very nice because we do kind of need one. Uh, we've got pickup drop and splinter. We'll take splinter. I love this system of the weapon drop things, uh, of the uh, bullet mod, sorry. Really good. Really, really good. <clears throat> when you respawn, you level up faster. What does that even mean? I mean, like, at the start of the stage, you get more XP. I, I don't think that's what it means. That was good. Do not dare. Oh, my God, that was close. A lot of cars down here. Kind of scary. Nope, nothing else down there. I'd have to check. Oh, we opened the portal already. I didn't realize. Didn't even realize. Try hitting grenades for extra range. Interesting. Oh shit, we've got this new boss again. I forgot about this. These fucking bats are pretty crazy. <laughs> Be careful because they fire the director shots or whatever you want to call them. You can go through walls. Which makes them very difficult. But also quite fun. Right. Take care here. Hyper launcher. Still doesn't quite beat out what we've got right now. I like the splinter stuff that we've got going on though, that's good. Ooh, I think... Mm. Glass cannon, yeah, let's do it. Right, clear out as many enemies as we possibly can before this guy spawns, there you go. Because this guy was tough. 
I don't know what the hell the, the last attack he did was, but it scared the hell out of me. Like, god damn, this guy's crazy. The Gyro Buster. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's too cool to not take. Ow! Stop! <laughs> Very cool. I like this. Grab some tea. Just fire off a few of those. Let them handle our business. Mega laser rifle there. Lightning SMG, no thank you. They do consume quite a lot more ammo, though. That is apparent. Okay. And scarier face. Ooh, enemies are going to be weak. Very, very weak now. They have 50% less health. Every single enemy. I don't know if that includes bosses, but every normal enemy, at least, is going to have a lot less HP. Which I think is going to make for some crazy stuff. Ooh, we got our Ultra as well. Nice. What is Chicken's Ultra? So normally we've got kills extend bleed time, more melee damage, normal rate of fire during slow motion. So it is slow motion, okay. Um, when in slow motion, you vanish and drop a decoy. Uh, when vanished, enemies won't target you. Let's go with that, I guess. Like I said, I haven't really been using the slow mo like at all. We also unlocked the golden machine gun. I, By the way, I love the change. That for one, you can select golden weapons, whatever you want, you don't get one. And two, that just having to see a golden weapon is enough. I love that change. So yeah, the slow mo seems pretty useful, actually. <laughs> oh shit, he's moving. There you go. The Black Soul. Uh, Beast gonna look for picking, picking up the Black Soul. Interesting. So yeah, it is slow mo. I was right. And I've got extra fire rate while in it too, so it's pretty useful. Enter! No! Enter! Damn it! <laughs> I didn't realize I could enter that too. Enter. Go. <laughs> to the under the water sea area. Ultra flamethrower. This is awesome. I'm loving this setup. Especially with this slow-mo fire rate thing, I can fire a bit quicker. I like it. <clears throat> Let's go slow-mo. Use my insomnia to kill everything before it gets a chance to even look at me. Oh shit, one of these dudes. It's big fish. It's double big fish. Big Fish is uh, firing a, a lot at me. Oh my god, Big Fish is not dying. Okay, one of them died. Chunky Blade, good. What's hurting me right now? Oh, there's a dude down here. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you existed. Ultra Pop Gun. It uses the same ammo, though. Maybe not. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I think that hurts me, though, so I don't want to take it. It might not hurt me, but it looks like it does. Ooh. More new enemies to this floor. So maybe this floor is, like, exclusive to this area now, rather than being a, a standard floor like it was previous patch. I don't know. I, I don't actually know the change log. The developer can put some stuff in the comments if they want. Kind of go over some of the changes. Yeah, that's it. 
lacking on ammo a little bit here. Right. A few of those going out there. Okay, ammo's becoming a quite a concern now. Golden machine gun again, and sadly just another machine gun. Not really what we're looking for. There's a bunch of other enemies left somewhere up here. Are they through here? That they are. You've got flamethrower, well so do I. So do I. Nice, this, this ultra flamethrower is very good. Let those do their thing over there and make our way in. We've got the dragon coming in in this area. These worms are doing a number on me. I realise I'm taking damage from the fire that I needed that ammo pretty badly. Purple dragon. Now, this guy's probably going to wreck me a bit. Yeah, as you can clearly see, he is wrecking me a bit. We should kill him pretty quick, though. There you go, he's dead. Oh, my God. Okay. On to the Alice in Wonderland floors, which are equally as difficult here. Give me ammo in my heart. Keep me burning. We got a bullet laser. Oh my god, it just fires every element. <laughs> That's great. I feel like the element of the could get me killed, but... It's too cool to not use. And it seems to be firing blood, maybe, as well, which is deleting shots, I think. Okay, the slow mo's helping. Okay, we can now try out the gauntlet if we want, which I think is a good idea. We've got swarm or weapon drop, probably swarm. We did fail at this last time, so it's not exactly easy. Whoa. Why is there so many things to choose from, but there's still enemies here? Fire more? I don't know what these mean. Swarm snow? Toxic swarm? Melee blood? What, what, what does all this mean? How am I meant to survive this? Is there any way to survive this without melee weapons? Doesn't feel like it. Let's just do splinter to electric. Okay. I don't really know what any of this means. Oh, hello, big dog. I would very much like that ammo that's directly underneath you, please. Ultra screwdriver. Nah, I'm so fucked. I've not got... There's, like, nowhere near enough ammo in the world to keep me going here. This dude's so fast, what the hell? I got him. The fucking thing. Are you meant to be able to beat that? <laughs> Is that meant... For one, just just for, to question for the developer or anyone that knows, what the hell was that thing at the start? What, what are all those? Like, what did I... What? Does it convert one into the other? Why were they all there while the enemies were still shooting me? That was very disorientating. Shouldn't it happen before or after the enemies spawn? And 
are you meant to be able to beat this? Because I don't feel like there was enough ammo in the world or space in the room for me to ever beat this without a melee weapon. Which, I don't know. I get that melee weapons are a big part of this game and blocking bullets, but I don't like it when parts of the game require you to have a melee weapon. Because what if you enter it without one and not one doesn't drop? Then you're just screwed. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to have to carry a melee weapon all the time. Anyways, seems pretty interesting. I doubt I'll beat this anytime soon unless something changes. But either way, um, we'll continue onwards and see what we can get done. I want to try and get to the other floor again. Yeah, I don't know. That's That seems a bit... I was going to end the episode there, but I decided not to. Um, I, I realise we've got a bit more time left. Right. There we go. I've got um, chocolate milk with me at the minute, and I'm very happy. <laughs> the chocolate milk is helping me greatly. Oh god. This hasn't gone well. I don't think chicken's a good character. You know what? Let's, uh, let's return to menu and quickly equip our golden weapon. Wait, what? What the hell happened there? Um... Ah, oh, there you go. Um... There it is. Also, skin. Yay, we love B-skin. Okay. Starting with a machine gun is a lot better than starting with a terrible sword. Shotgun as well. I love the idea of the word shotgun, it's so funny. Yeah, it seems to be like 10% slower. Like, it, the, the slow-mo is negligible. I can't really notice it at all. Um, ooh, a lot of good stuff here. I think we're going to be eagle eyes early on. Seems like it could be quite good early. I forgot to go to the thingy floor. Oh, well. We'll just continue onwards, I guess. Can you just walk into me, sir? Very rude. Okay, I'm dead. That's fine, because I didn't want to play that run anyways. <laughs> Go, chicken. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Beeline it. I have no idea which one of those I just chose to enter. It was one of them. Oh, shit. Restart, restart. I missed out on, like, everything on that floor. So I think both of them can be entered early as well. That's nice. I didn't realize this one could also be opened and entered on any floor. We've got a reverse floor over here as well. There's so many options in this mod of what to do. I'm going to go through this because it'll take us to the other portal anyways. Take us straight to the... Is, it, is this floor the Savannah? I think it is. It seems to be Savannah-esque. I don't know if that's like the official name in the mod for this floor, but I feel like I've heard that somewhere before and that seems about right. Okay. I like the splinter thing. It good. Boom. Yeah, I like the fact that Chicken has an ability that's actually an ability now, and not just throw your weapon for minimal damage. <laughs> I need to maybe look up all the balance changes from the patch notes, because there's a lot of mutations that have changed. There's, there's just a lot of stuff that's changed in general that I don't really know about. That I The, the, the stuff that I might not be giving a fair shot that, that deserves a better, a better second look because it's been changed. At least that's my assumption right now. Doom pistol. Yes. Go. My little brethren. I love the doom weapons. They're so cool. Overhealed. Okay. 
Calm down. Calm down. There you go. Okay, this floor's going a lot better. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Chicken, normal movement speed during slow motion. I, I really can't tell. I really can't tell how much is actually helping. Like, the slow-mo, it, it seems... Is it like 20%? It doesn't seem like a lot. Maybe I'm just blind. Maybe it's really obvious to everyone else. Like, I, I, I got that it was slow motion pretty quickly, but it doesn't seem to be crazy slow motion. Oh, God, I'm so dead here. I am trapped in a trap of my own creation. I am playing a risky game right now, and... It has got me killed. Well done to me. Yeah, get fucked, Vulture. <laughs> Doom pistols coming at you. Can't stand the heat. Get out the kitchen. Go with that. And that. How do I get my max HP back again? Is it like health chests or something? Oh shit, I didn't realize that was gonna happen. Right, just stand back and fire, I guess. Damn, I'm not able to overheal. I thought I'd be able to overheal. Ah, ah, poison. I'm so fucked here, aren't I? Doom rifle! Or doom pistol, should I say? Save me! <laughs> Auto seeker pistol. Also seems really good. This is such a good combo of weaponry. Um, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Look at that, that's so good. We just have, basically we just have the craziest perming stuff ever. Ooh, where? This game's homing too, no way. But it uses bullet ammo. What the hell? I love that. Although Seeker Crossbow. Seeker Crossbow could be very good. Yeah, let's go with Seeker Crossbow. The minigun seems awesome, but this is just a lot more firepower. Yeah, you just you just head into an area. No matter where the area is, you just go. and let them deal with it. And then the whole stage is like almost done. <laughs> oh shit, we got Bushbox again. Bushbox, go away. I don't know how to deal with you. You confuse me. You confuse the hell out of me. Where's my healing? Oh, I'm dead. Bushbox is uh... I don't know. He is a boss. That is, that is a fact. He is a boss. I I think he's my new little hunter. I don't think I like him. Also, they shut their mouths on me again because I keep forgetting to beeline it to them. <laughs> Grenade launchers effect could be very valuable for us. There you go, level two. I was unsure there. This will do. Yeah, grenade launch is going to be pretty good here. Got to be careful of enemies that get a bit too close. So let's do police. Can you go away? I have a potentially hot take for uh, nuclear throne that I don't know how many people agree with me on. I think the police are a bad addition to the game. I don't like them, like, at all. I think they're... I, I think the game would be better off without them completely. I don't really like them. 
Like basically every scenario in which they show up, I just I'm just annoyed. Maybe that's me just being bad at the game, but yeah, I'm not I'm not a huge fan. Go go with that. This might be really stupid, but I kind of... Yeah, okay. I was just about to say, I want to try something. If I hurt myself with an explosion with alkaline saliva, does it actually work? And it does. I can heal myself at the start of the stage with an explosion. Line of Toxic. We, I'd like to say Line of Toxic would be great, but we know it, we know it won't be later down the line. that. Sneaky bugger. Okay. There we go. And then this time, let's hit Plutonium Hunger, I think. Okay. We've been grasped. Yeah, there you go. Look, I like, hurt myself with an explosion and got a huge heal. That's pretty crazy. These dogs are terrible <laughs> for grenade launcher strats. Big vulture. Fucking go away, police. You're ruining everything. Also, could you stop shooting? The dog got me now. Oh my god, I'm dead. I think we're going to end up the episode here then. God, I, I don't know. I don't really like Chicken as a character. The Swarmer, maybe I, maybe if I learn to use it a bit more, it'll be good. But remember, I'm pretty bad at using abilities. I don't use them that often. Not as often as I should. They probably save me more times than I could count. And I still don't use them. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. And I'll see you guys in the next one.